Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila. In today's short video, I wanted to go over credit lines. It was said on the radio recently, forget what station, that parents were talking about getting their children credit cards. Personally, I would not suggest that, especially if the child isn't at the proper maturity level to handle it. I mean, that's on the parent's judgment. But overall, I just made a little outline of recommendations to help teach a child how to budget and handle credit cards before actually getting a real credit card. So let's go over this. For the age range of starting, I said 16 and up. If you know your child's not mature at 16 to handle this, then wait till they're 18. You know, it's for their best interest that you not give them a credit line if they're not mature enough to handle it. But use your own discretion. The card type that I would get for the child, though, I would not do a regular credit card. I would do a prepaid credit line. You can open one up with a bank and have it starting at 300. The money's already in the account. Whatever they spend has to be reimbursed. And that way you can help them track it. And through whatever they do, if it's a summer job or if they get paid for chores, they can put their earned money back on the card to be able to spend it again. Then I would say keeping that card, just keep it throughout college, keep it prepaid. Then around senior year of college or whenever they reach 21, that's the age I would say is safe to start getting a real credit card. And my recommendation for the card type at that age for your first one would be a cash back credit card. And that would start the credit line, I would say usually they start I think at 500 for cash back. Then they can get used to the rewards and how it works and how they're incurred and keeping track of not going over their credit. Then once that's all hashed out in a few years, if they decide they want to get more credit cards, there's lots of other options. For an adult, you can get a travel credit, like towards travel points. You could also get cards with rewards credit to give you rewards points towards things like the Disney rewards card gives you discounts and rewards points towards Disney purchases and so forth. So there's lots of other credit types, but for your first one, I would really recommend getting a cashback card because that helps you get used to the different ways that you incur um, rewards, but in a way that really helps you with your um, spending, cash back. And then also just some helpful tips. Have a set personal budget for spending when you start any of these, even the cash back, because you want to make sure you don't max out your card and go over your spending limit. And for these limits, the banks do raise your limits as you spend more um, regularly and pay off in full and so forth. But if at any time you don't want that credit line raised for your own budgeting purposes, you can, without any penalty, call the bank and say, hey, I would like my card to stop at such and such amount. I don't really need the credit line to be bigger at this time. And then if at any time you want your credit line to start increasing again, you can always call the bank back and say, hi, I'd like to go ahead and open the option to building the credit line. There's really no penalty for going back and forth on that. It's This limit is really what you need it to be, not what the bank wants it to be, more or less. Also, if you want to have more than one card, you can, but what I would really recommend is use each card for a very specific type of purchases. Like, let's say I had one of each, one travel, one rewards, and one cash back. I would probably do, like, my travel for my auto expenses and any other travel expenses since it's a travel rewards. They kind of go together. And for rewards 
points, Disney or whatnot, maybe use that one for like the pet expenses if I have a cat or a dog. And then my cash back would be more like regular expenses, groceries, utility bills, whatever other daily expenses you incur that are regular and within a budget plan can go on your normal cash back card. So you don't have to follow this exactly. These are really just suggestions to help you and your children know how to deal with credit cards and credit debt without going overboard. Because trust me, if you don't have a budget plan, if you don't keep track of your spending, it is very, very easy to overspend, especially if you have more than one card. So brace yourself if you're opening a credit line, monitor it yourself, but you know, have confidence. You can do it. Just takes some budgeting and monitoring on your part. Hopefully this helps you make a sound financial decision in your future, and I hope you have a great fall season. See you in the next video. Peace.